Hello and welcome to the walkthrough for Resident Evil 2 Remake Ghost Survivors The Forgotten Soldier. This video will show you my no damage run of the game and give you ideas and strategies to get through each area or room. When you start to the right there's a note that just tells you about the special enemy in this scenario, armor plated zombies. In the first area, shoot the kneecaps with the machine gun of the zombies to knock them over. Take the backpack from the first one and go through and knock over the next two. This is our first armor plated zombie. The armor will be on different body parts. We can't shoot the legs because it's armored so I just did a normal dodge. In the next room make sure you tilt the camera up and stick all the way left or all the way right so that the zombies do not jump up from the ground and grab you. And then grab the flash grenade from the vending machine. Now this liquor part we're going to walk through. So you walk up to this pole here and the liquor will kind of notice you. Stay diagonal back and make sure both his claws cross that line on the ground and just stick your back against the wall. If you don't make him go far enough to the right, he'll touch you and he'll activate. We're gonna ignore the backpack zombie. Now I'll show you the other two ways to get through the room. First, you can use the machine gun and stay over by the vending machine and just take out the liquor. He cannot get you inside there and he kind of just stays right there for you to hit. And secondly, you can kill the lickers with the knife. You have to make sure you get behind them. If you get in front of them, they'll jump back. So just stay behind them and circle around and knife, knife, knife. Knife damage is tied to what system you're on. This is PS4, but I just wanted to make sure we don't use the knife for these strategies. Once the liquor is taken care of or when you walk past, continue to walk to the door and just take a couple steps in and shoot the zombies right in the knees to take out all three. If you run through that door and walk forward too far, they'll start moving, it'll be harder to shoot them. They're just standing still right there. Run through the center and turn the camera upwards so that you can see the backpack. If you don't, you might accidentally run up the ladder and it's annoying to go up and down and try to get that backpack. Real quick, we're only gonna mix the white with the white to make machine gun and the yellow with the large to make the shotgun shells. Do not mix anything else. Do not use the small gunpowder. Only the things we show you right here on screen. So pick up the backpack and the items inside. You'll be able to make some machine gun bullets. Top of the ladder in the vending machine, we're gonna pick up the shotgun. This next part we're gonna run through, but remember to stick to the right wall because right here at this zombie, there's a hidden one on the ground. You gotta go around the right side of him so the guy doesn't jump up and grab you. Around the corner, you're gonna kinda stop and let these two zombies come out from behind the side and shoot them in their unarmored leg to take them down. I actually missed the second one, but I got lucky and ran through anyway. Make sure you run straight towards the wall and do a right angle cut at the end so that none of the zombies can turn into you. And get on the lift and don't forget to press the button. There is a Mr. Raccoon on the way up that you can shoot at any time. At the top, get off and take out that zombie's legs with your shotgun. In my case, he was in a weird spot so I could run around him, but I usually shoot him. Ignore the backpack and run out so the plant doesn't get up and one hit kill you. Now in this area, I always dodge. I dodge the first guy, I dodge the second guy, and kind of zigzag around. And that's because they both have armored legs, so we can't machine gun them, and we don't want to headshot them with the shotgun because we're going to need one bullet going into the next room. Make sure your flashbang is equipped and not your knife. Then run into the room and throw the grenade into the center. Do not lob it short or else you'll miss the guys in the back. Take out the shotgun and then shoot the bulb on the plant to stun him and run by. Stick to the right and once you get inside, you'll be safe. This is a tough room and that plant may still grab you. If you have your knife, you'll be okay. But you're really going to want to practice that area because it is tough to accomplish. But once you do, it'll be easy. At the top of the elevator, go out to the vending machine on the right and grab the shotgun shells. And now we're going to use the machine gun to activate some of these zombies. So go over here on the ledge to the right and then start shooting a couple bullets into these guys. The one in the back, you'll see the helmet shake. The woman, the guy with the backpack, and the guy on the ground. The other two zombies will come after you. And now they're all gonna come out onto this area and you'll be safe. If you have a zombie like that, shoot the legs. If you have one like with the armor, you're gonna wanna shoot them in the head with the shotgun. So machine gun for the regular zombies or zombies with legs exposed and shotgun for those zombies where only their head is exposed. And you're gonna have to watch out for the 
uh, zombies that are crawling around that you, de you know, knocked over because they'll still be alive and they will actually come back to grab you if you take too long. But as you can see, most of the zombies were just taking out their legs, including the backpack zombie. He's got bullets we definitely need. So I just kind of hung out over here so that they would slowly crawl to the back and get out of my way. And then I ran back around to the front, picked up the backpack, and now you can make shotgun shells and you can make machine gun bullets. So do so. This guy here, no armor head, so we want to take him out with the shotgun. And now I decided I'm going to go forward and kind of activate these last guys. There's a lot of distance behind us. You want to hit her in the head. Hopefully you get a better headshot than that because she will be the one that comes out and gets you. I ran all the way back here. And the reason we could make it without using any bullets is because I lured all those guys on the ground far back there and they never made it back in time. And now I kind of just waited again. Technically... Several times I've just run through with those remaining zombies there and didn't lure them over here because with the shotgun you can do two, three headshots back up, reload your shotgun, do a couple headshots and hit the plant and the bulb to get by it. But just to be really, really extra safe, I lured them over here. And again, headshot because he's got armor on. Be careful of the zombies on the ground. They will jump up, especially this lady. I missed her again with the direct headshot. And always reload your shotgun. But now we've cleared it to where the plant is the only thing blocking us. And we know how to get by the plant now. We just shoot him in the bulbs and run by him. You may have to use your knife and leave it behind in that area. In the next room, sprint to the first guy on the couch, aim up, shotgun. Sprint to the guy on the left, aim up, shotgun. For some reason, he's like asleep. And then hide in the corner, look to see Mr. X is coming. Run forward so he swings and kind of just circle around. And then now I go through, and usually he can't really hit you once the second door is up, I don't think. So I just kind of run to that area and hide there. Now, Mr. X was actually hiding in a side room, and it doesn't come unlocked until he comes out, and that's where you'll find the second Mr. Raccoon in this one, which will probably be your ninth. And it's right on that desk over there. Once you come in here, Mr. X actually does follow you in. And I don't know how you're going to get out. So now we're in this big warehouse. And one of the zombies is actually going to follow you in. And he's going to surprise you if you don't make sure to take him out along with all the ones in front of you. And here we're just going to knock down all the regular zombies with our machine gun strategy. So that they all go onto the ground. We gotta really make sure that guy, see, he's always kind of sneaking around. So make sure you take him down for good. And then we're gonna utilize these railings to kind of dodge everyone. So you wanna make sure you lure all these zombies into the center so that you can go behind the railings and they can't come out to get you. There's also three zombies here that are like fully armored up and they are way over there. They don't activate till you get closer to them. So what we're going to do now that the regular zombies are on the ground is we're going to go activate those three guys. I think one of them might have his leg free where you can shoot, but I think there's at least one zombie over there that's head-to-toe armor that cannot be stopped that I know of. I don't know. Maybe if you shoot him enough. But again, we're just going to lure those three guys over here and make sure that they fall in the center and they don't go around the railings. They're going to try to go around the railing because they're going to try to trap you in here with their smart AI. But basically, I just lured him over here, and now we've got a clear shot at the cable car. There's only one thing in the way. It's an annoying G. I don't exactly know how to stop it, because as you'll see here, the machine gun doesn't really do it. I have a knife, and I ran into him and used the knife, but because he's on the stairs, it's too slow. So I think you have to wait for him to come down, make him swing. It's a huge windup, and he has a really long reach, so make sure you get back far as possible. I screwed up and didn't lure those armored zombies far enough away, but dodging them helped me dodge the G, and I circled around, escaping to freedom. 
So that was the no damage version of the walkthrough. If you're just trying to complete the game, it should be much easier than that and you won't have to do all those little scammy type of tricks to lure the zombies away. You can kind of just go at it with a little more confidence. Remember, there were two Mr. Raccoons to get in this segment of the game, and one of them is at the very end and is really hard to get without getting damaged, so you might have to come back in to grab that one. Thanks for watching. We now have no damage walkthroughs for all three of the main scenarios in Ghost Survivors, so check those out. If you have any other strategies or tips, be sure to leave a comment, and don't forget to like and subscribe.